Your Sunday forecast as we take a live look this morning from Kannapolis. Good morning to you all. You can see that kind of gloomy haze. We've been seeing it across many of our live cameras. Um, it maybe it has you feeling like the day is not going to be amazing, um, but thankfully we're not looking at the picture of rain that we were looking at yesterday. Yes, it's still not going to be the sunniest day we've ever seen, but not as much rain as what we had yesterday. In fact, it's already less rainy than what we had 24 hours ago. We still want folks to stay weather aware today, and that's just because of again a lot of outdoor activities, the chance for some isolated lightning strikes. And if you were around yesterday, the day before we did have some rain, which means a lot of the ground is saturated. We also haven't had a lot of rain over the past month and month and a half. In fact, yesterday was the rainiest day since March 9th. And so because of that, the ground is pretty saturated, which means more rain, the chance for some light flooding. Now, if you look at the timing here, and you can see I put depends. The reason why is that we have rain this morning, drying out periods in the midday, and then again rain this afternoon. So again, rain with a dry sandwich. However, the chance for lightning is primarily this afternoon, so it kind of depends on whether you're talking about rain and storms. However, the big, big risk here, of course, is lightning. That's what makes the storms themselves dangerous. So just be mindful of that. Of course, she's head outside later on today. Live pictures across the board. You can see from Concord to Dallas, Boone and Monroe. Again, a lot of gloomy sky conditions, but we will see some sunshine peeking through by this afternoon. Here's what the rain picture looks like now. As Caitlin mentioned, it looks significantly better than we did 24 hours ago go. Most of the showers are lingering only on the eastern side of our area. You can see over toward the LRB region. Norman, this is on the eastern side of Anson County as you approach Richmond County. Just some light to moderate rain. Again, it is not much. We do have some light rain still near Lylesville there in Anson County, as well as on the northwestern side. A few lingering showers there near Shira. Other than that, we don't have anything. Rainfall totals yesterday at the official sensors did show about one and a quarter for Hickory and Albemarle, around one inch for Charlotte, uh, down toward Chester, parts there of Morganton. Uh, but again, these sensors were not really showing some of the highest radar estimates. I had reports of around two inches in Ballantyne. I did get an email from a viewer over in Cleveland County recording about two inches, uh, two and a half inches there as well. So we had a lot higher totals at some of your home uh, rain gauges. Feel free to send in those uh, reports. We love to see them and I'll pass them along to the National Weather Service. In fact, I even had a viewer over in Dallas there in Gaston County that got close to five inches at his home rain gauge. Now, of course, remember these official sensors are only just a handful across our entire region. These are just the official ones that the National Weather Service uses to send us that data. Now, as we progress through the afternoon, again, we will see some breaks. Remember, rain this morning, rain again this afternoon. It's just that the storms the actual thunder and lightning potential is only later on today. So we see plenty of breaks in the rain by the middle part of the day. So around lunchtime and even some sunshine peeking through, you can see a lot of break time. I do think we'll see more storms again popping up just after about five, six o'clock. So be mindful of that, especially across the Charlotte Metro. If you do plan on being outside, especially at Love and Life, I know those meteorologists are working really hard to keep a close eye on that. And of course, their official policy, I do believe, is around seven miles, but we'll keep a close eye on that, of course, and keep you updated. Off and on, shower and storm activity does continue through tonight, overnight into Monday, and we do see another round of showers and storms continuing through the day on Monday before we do eventually see some drying out periods by Tuesday and into the middle part of this upcoming week. So again, encouraging folks to stay weather aware. You can see that in our guy roofing seven day forecast today with the potential for lightning and some isolated flooding due to heavy rain. Again, main reason why is because of a lot of outdoor activities. Overall, though, just run of the mill thunderstorms. This is not severe weather. We do dry out temporarily for the middle part of the week as temperatures get close to 90. Another round of showers and storms for the first two big days of Wells Fargo Thursday, Friday, but we do look to dry out for the biggest days Saturday and Sunday.